factories closing. Shows are all also impacted. Um, Photography Show UK yeah, got cancelled. CP Plus, which you were meant to go to. But then now it's the poor Kino. It's like... Um... Mm. And for looking that's been cancelled, I haven't even finished my editing. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for creating your own slick looking website or online store. Oh, here we are for episode number 10. Oh. What is up? Wow. Bokeh loving brothers and sisters. You're watching Super Bokeh Bros, a show all about discussing and discoursing the latest gear in the world of photography. So let's not diddle daddle, let's kick off the show, boom. Let's go. No, ac no, actually, turn oh. on my shirt, my sweatshirt. That's very, that. that's very nice. It's on cool. It looks very similar to the logo on oh. my chest. Look at that. Check, oh, yeah. check out my man titties. And then the the, the fabric so so soft. Oh, it feels so warm. <laughs> not, let's not milk this too much. <laughs> People are gonna unsubscribe <laughs> and everything like that's too much. We get it that you sell your merch, but I'm gonna unsubscribe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. Covid, co covid. Is it, I don't know how it's a, so you call it cold, cold wit or... Yeah. Don't worry about Locke, he's just a bit tipsy now. This video was supposed to be out way, way back, but then we had promised transferring files to each other, so hence why it's only just being released now. The news is old, but still stirring up fresh opinions in my head, so that's why we're still releasing this video. And just in case you didn't know what the news is about, here's a little refresher. This is Canon oh, ERS R5. Yeah. They announced just recently, I don't know if it's because people were just tweeting everywhere, that, oh no, it's, it's, it's gonna be cropped. Especially our last yeah. episode. Probably 8K, but it's 10 times crop, and you lose your first child. <laughs> crop, four times crop. Cup holder, what? Okay. Connection to the internet, three times crop. That's why yeah. Canon wants to. They're watching, uh, they're watching. Uh, uh, with Bond. That's why Canon UK <laughs> don't invite me to their stuff, because they know that I'm just chatting oh, shit. <laughs> you know what it is? Well, I know what it isn't. It's certainly not because I've been a complete ass about their camera. You know what it is? Well, I know what it isn't. Not completely, anyway. But let's not forget how big a thing this is. Canon mirrorless with 4K. As someone that has used and appreciated Canon products, I can find myself liking using the EOS R for stills. It is what it is, and with entry-level cameras, all that should be important is that you pick the camera that feels right in your hands, and not what social media influencers have to say about a product. <laughs> I even went to, to the, the, all that effort of, of trying to tweet Canon USA, and I told them I'm American. <laughs> yeah. I'm American, I'm from New, New England. That's why I've got the new English accent. But you know, personnel changes, strategies change. If they prefer to invite magazines and not social media types like myself, that's fine. I think the R5 is going to make a big enough splash that it doesn't even matter if they invite just 50% of those magazine types. Because who reads magazines these days anyway? But anyway, Canon has confirmed that the AK uh, in R5 is all true. No crop with dual pixel AF in all AK modes. Kablam! Twice! That's a double barreled shooting down of any naysayers out there. As information slowly creeps out, we're seeing a more complete picture. Um, and it's not cropped. If you think there might be a catch, what do you think it will be? AK dollar. Well, uh, seriously, uh, so maybe fill up your card in six minutes anyway, wow. so... Yeah. Just like the 1D Mark exactly. 6, uh, uh, one, what, what? 1D X Mark Yes, free. Free. Yeah. <laughs> After a series of disappointments with their prosumer cameras, it shoots 4K, no dual pixel AF in 4K, no AV or TV mode, 1.6 times crop, no C-Log, it doesn't have 24p in HD. It's understandable why there's still some doubters. There's no point thinking that it's too preposterous a prospect for it to be true. No matter which way you look at it, it looks positively on point. Full frame and dual pixel AF in 8K video recording mode. It doesn't matter if you need 8K or not, it does it. End of story. See, it's pretty crazy. That is crazy. But it's so crazy. I, I'm thinking like, I feel like, should I go back to Canon? Should I? What do you mean go back? Like when I say go back, well, when I say go back, because back in digital web, I have been using 5D. I mean, yeah. at that time, I have to use exactly. 5D, there's no other choice. Yeah. No matter which way you try to shoot R5 down, you can't help but be impressed by the specs, or what little we know of the specs. Just compare it to the competition. In fact, don't even compare it to the competition. Compare it to Canon's own cameras. I mean, take a look at the C500 II. It does full frame. It does 5.9K cinema raw light, 10-bit 422. 
even if, say, it doesn't offer up C-Log in 8K, you get less dynamic range than the C502, worse rolling shutter, 5 minutes max per clip, that would still be a triumph in my mind. Even if it overheats, at least it's going to be a beautiful fireball. The common criticism is that Canon is just being Canon. They're crippling their cameras like they did with the R, the RP, the 5D Mark IV, the 60 Mark II. The list goes on, but you have to look at it this way. The fact that they are making full frame models shows that they're willing to make bold moves, you know, to go to town and come back, urinate on their own doorstep, you know. And a bit of that. Cinema cameras. Here you go, DSLRs. Boom. All right, maybe not urinating or defecating, but from what little but good information we have of the R5 and some rumors of the R6, I'm not gonna talk about rumors, this shows that they are committed to putting key features and tech into their R range, and it will possibly give Canon an edge. It's just a case of what is Sony waiting to do with the A7S III? The Uzi was essentially 5D Mark IV without a mirror, they were just testing the waters, but it's clear to see that the response from the fanboys and the complainers alike is that people do really give a crap about what cameras Canon releases. If you're a Canon user or not, going to switch, go back, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's good news. The faucet has been opened up, but it won't just be a drip. This will surely open up the next level of features and tech, with other brands surely wanting to follow suit and perhaps even do better. It's not gonna just drip out, it seems things are gonna come gushing out soon. Out of all this doom and gloom that we've had for the last couple months, this is a nice shining beacon of hope. So don't crush our hopes, Canon, please. <laughs> but what else? Yeah, don't. <laughs> what? Especially in this kind no, of... No, it'll be uh, disaster. Uh, I, would, I would shit shit myself in anger if, if, if there's some... Live comfort. Live stream we'll it. Live stream it. <laughs> in 8K. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service, you can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. But no, that's enough of Canon talk. Let's move on. So next, we have got a new section which is rather appropriate. We should maybe, maybe got these people to sponsor this section because this section is lock review shit. shit. There are some products which are either it's it's not very good, it's not very cool. You know, some of them might be diamonds <laughs> in the rough. They might be just diamond covered in a load of shit. And it's up to Locke, who's gonna be the master of shit in this <laughs> section. What? <laughs> to try and uncover it. I have to say, I don't agree about this title. <laughs> good shit, it's just a way of saying that it's good stuff. It's not, it's not no, a bad it's thing. Not, it's not even shit, it's just not a whole meal. It's a, it's appetizer, it's appetizer. It's just not, a, not enough for a whole video. It's some appetizer. So let's have some appetizer or dessert, whatever. What? Let's start with this. <laughs> I have so many, <laughs> I'm just going to ignore you. Yeah. I've got so many. Uh, Mavic Air ND filter or, or, or other uh, gradation filter, whatever. Why am I going? Why why am I going to just talk about Mavic Air filter now? Because I got them last year, and then I try to reveal all that, but it took a lot of time. And the problem is, after I took, I've spent hours and hours to shoot the reveal. I can't find any difference between them. I think also because the Mavic Air or the Spark, the, the, the lens, they got quite a lot of uh, lens flare. So whatever lens filter you put on it, it just got lens flare anyway. The only difference I can find is the case, is oh, the okay. carrying case. Because for, okay. some, for example, this is just a carrying case, probably the same carrying case all other normal camera filter would use. This is basically those, the, the, uh, the same, oh <laughs> shit. It's all came out. But then the Pro Air Pro actually got some nice case. So now even my Spark, I only use uh, Pro Air Pro, not sponsor. Okay, next. Um, <laughs> and this so, thing. So, so basically the conclusion is to that is who makes the best Mavic Air ND filters? 
Polar Pro because they make the best case. Yeah, that's what I that's what I think. Yeah. Actually, maybe you should review it and then I'll Finish. decide you this this is how it should work is that you review it live in front of me now and I'm like the judge, I decide whether it's good shit or bad shit. Where's your bus, sir? I know, I, I was thinking about it, but I, I, I don't know where it is. Your that's, kid got it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's the reason why I bought that last time. I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> Let me test that out first. <laughs> was for this section, but then it's been mispl misplaced. So that's why I've got toilet roll. So is it good shit or is it bad shit? Is it good shit Whatever. or bad shit? Whatever, next. Next <laughs> is this. Lumi uh, lights. And actually, now it, at first they call they they spelled L U M E E. Now they spell L U M I E E. Maybe yeah. because when you search Lumi on web, you will just find another. You get Kim Kardashian and some selfie light or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what is that? Is the world's first wearable cinema cinematic cinema lights or something like that? I absolutely hate the overuse of cinematic in everything these days. Uh, cinematic light, cinematic whatever. It's like, okay, it's just a light for video for fuck's sake, isn't it? Well, it, I have to say it, they, they got quite good lights, actually quite accurate. And then because it's a long shape, uh, in some situation you can get a flatter light than a light, than a like small LED light like this. But then I just don't get it like they call it a wearable. You can wear it like this. Oh, oh, you can wear it. Why, why do I want to wear it? And yeah, I'm trying to think what, is there any use for that? Or is it just so you can carry uh, it easily? It, they say that you can carry it easily and also you can get like, oh, oh, you can dance with it or something. Like, oh, I would like it more if they don't do that. It's just a a stick light, then I would like it more, to be honest. But uh, it's a good light. I mean, other than that. I mean, when, when you're using I it. I don't know. I mean, I, I remember having those bracelets as a, as a kid, you know, those bracelets where you just slap it on. Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes if you press it a little bit too hard, it just curls up. Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, that would be annoying, isn't it? You know, you're, yeah. you're, you're trying to, to, to fix the light somewhere, and then boom, curls yeah. up. I would say, I would say that's, that's bad shit. Oh, LGB. Uh, no, LGB, RGB. Lot, lot. That's <laughs> and, a different uh, thing, oh. Lock. That's a totally different yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a, yeah, that's yeah. LG... LGBT. Don't, you don't need to make it curl up. I just cannot <laughs> understand. Uh, I mean, maybe they'd think that you can, you know, curl up onto some pole or it can attach to, I can just see somebody's gonna use that for porn. They're gonna wrap around the cock. Cock light. The ball's light. And, and this is this is not weatherproof. So I mean, what not waterproof? That's that's a problem. Next is uh, totally totally not because they are shit. It's just uh, and, and also a light. Uh, I just want to talk about um, aperture. This kind of aperture, small LED light, because they first got this. It's just a white light and it's yeah. small. I love this a lot. I'm using it right now. I've just got it there on the window. So oh, really? Yeah, it's great. It's a great product. But they got a stupid name like um, oh. ALM line. And then next they released the ALMX. Also a stupid name. How am, am I going to remember that? Uh, this sounds like the perfect uh, evolution because this is bicolor. And then it's, right. it's, uh, it's got a brighter light or this and that. One thing, I mean, actually many things that I hate about this, at first, you get, get this magnetic diffuser and you got a magnetic, magnetic diffuser on this one as well, but then it stick out. So whenever you put in your bag, it will just catch on something and then it fall off. When you turn it on, it just shine the light to your eyes. You can't see the buttons. Right. Because they got quite a lot of buttons because it, uh, it's a bicolor. So I'm really disappointed yeah. about this. I thought this is a, just a, a bicolor version of the old ALM line. I thought it would be great. Sorry, what's the name of this one? ALMX. It's not MC? No, the latest is MC. MC, oh, I get got. it because it's oh, no, color. that's what I've got. Yeah. 
that's the thing with names is just is I, I can't get yeah. their names the app name i i know this is that i've got the aolmc and i know you can you know set it up with the app it's just yeah. a ridiculous it's, name it doesn't relate to aperture or this light i, I can't even remember the name what is yeah, it yeah exactly let, let me see uh citus citus link yes yeah yeah when i've installed the app i can't i couldn't remember what it's called so i i thought I can't find it. I've got a lot of apps on, on my phone. <laughs> so I, I tried to search Aperture app. And then I thought, oh yeah, it's not called Aperture. So what is it? I can't remember what it is. But MX, that's the one you just but showed the, me. Yeah, but the, but the M... No, this is MC. Yeah, MC the is good. RGB is MC. The MC yeah, is M good. MC is good because um, it's, it's almost back to the size of the first M line. Uh, by color and RGB. So this, this I, I like this again. Uh, the MC is the newest. So is MC well. newer than MX? Yes. I mean, it does matter so then. M MX M9. is old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confused. But the MX is brighter. But the MX is brighter because it shines in your face. By color. Hang on, I can't see the <laughs> buttons. I can't see which one is which. So this is the brightest setting. Yeah. And then there's a boost. There's a boost, boost as well. Boost. I'm going to consider that good shit. I think it can either be good shit or it's going to be flushed away as bad shit. That's good shit. Because I like Aperture. I like the products. Um, yeah, hashtag yeah, not an ad. So I'm, I'm going to keep that. Well. I'm going to keep that. That's going to stay out of the toilet. So that's it. Yep, that's it for lock review shit. It's not shit. They're not shit. This is it. That's it for the show. I would love to hear your comments yeah. about what you think, especially about the Canon EOS R5. You know, what you think yeah. is going to happen with that? Is it going to be all good or is it going to be no good? We'd love to hear your well, thoughts. Suddenly a, a, a change of tone, something so serious. Uh, yeah, R6, uh, no, R5. That's yeah. a mighty fine hoodie, by the way. I, I don't know if I, I mentioned it yeah. just now. That's a very splendid hoodie. Yeah, I love that. That's yeah. actually pretty hot in yeah. Hong Kong right yes. now. So well, let's, well, let's end this. Well, Lock, I think you're in luck because we have also got our merch available in T-shirts and vests, which you can buy oh, now really? on the store. Yeah. Down luck, there. Lock. Oh, yeah. Oh, <gasps> I want to grab that. Look at that. Oh. I'd love and to grab that. that. Yeah, I actually, I can do it now on my iPad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy loads of it. I'm going to buy loads of it now. Done. There we are. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's quick. Bye, I'm going to buy something. On that note, thank you for watching, Bokeh brothers and sisters. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. Okay, now if I just slip this in at the end of the video now, I know me and Locke like to have a laugh with the overdoing of the plugging of the merch. Done in a comic fashion, I hope you realize that. It's just goofing off. But you know, we're fortunate. We've got our own places to stay. We've got family, we've got food. We've got plenty of toilet roll. Other people are not so fortunate, which is why we discussed just now, in fact, that we're going to give all the proceeds, all the profit we make from merch for this next week to charity. Probably either Feeding America or No Child Hungry. And you're probably asking why America? Well, statistically, most of you watching are probably from America. So we're just taking that money and giving it back. But for everybody else and your families, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Thanks for watching. See you later. Subscribe.